holding it like that, like there. What are you gonna get? You're gonna get like an Instagram shot of Look who's copying me! <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and sunny south of Spain. Completely different environment to the last video that I shot with the Lotus Driving Academy in a rainy Snetterton in Norfolk. Today, myself and Sam, quick, make it look seamless. Hi, hi. From hi. Scene Through Glass. We are embarking on an epic road trip with the Ford Ranger 3.2 Auto. Sam's... <laughs> <laughs> Baby, Sam loves this car. I absolutely love this car. And we have got a proper kitted out car. Sam's just gonna get in the back. Well, at least we got the thumbnail. <laughs> so let me explain what we are going to be doing for the next nine to 10 days. We start here in Malaga. We are currently on the lunch stop. I haven't filmed any of the travelly bits because I thought this would probably be more exciting. Driving down from Ronda through the Spanish through the Spanish mountains into Marbella where we're going to be staying tonight. Then we are going to be doing some pretty cool activities along the way to Geneva, stopping off every single day until the 29th of February, which is going to be pretty insane to kick things off in 2016 for our first road trip. So this is the Ford Ranger Wild Track 3.2 auto thank god because it is a left-hand drive german car if it was manual everything would be the wrong way around but it looks absolutely stunning we've got the black tail front grille here and we are located at a beautiful resort where we've just had lunch we're going to jump in this car i'm going to show you a little bit about it and we're going to try and well basically get to grips with it i've never driven anything so big in my life sam drove here from the airport now it's my turn to jump behind the wheel and head down into marbella what? Yeah, yeah, you, you, you're, you're gonna come as well because we're doing this together. <laughs> I don't really know what you want me to do. Well, I don't know if you're doing some like scenic are, slow motion stuff. We're gonna have to film each other for this road trip. Well, have you explained how we're gonna be presenting this road trip? No, but I can do yeah, I right now. Be, I think it'd be great. Why not? Okay. Tell, tell the people. So. Over the last couple of days when we were in Norfolk, myself, Sam and James all were doing the same activity. So we were filming pretty much exactly the same thing, only with our personal twist on the editing and filming style. So what myself and Sam have decided to do for the next five days is I'm going to be daily vlogging, doing the general style video that I do. And Sam's going to be doing the general style video that he normally does. A little bit more high end, slightly I'd say better edited, but you oh, do spend more time. That's so kind. Isn't it? Isn't it yeah, no, but also we're going to try and focus on different aspects of the each trip. day. So there's there's Ford have hooked us up with some insane activities and things to do each day with this car. So you're going to be obviously capturing a lot of the behind the scenes, the day-to-day -day living with the car, the stuff that we're doing. We're but then we're covering a lot of miles. A lot of miles. And then in my videos, it's more going to be focusing on the specific bespoke activities that we are doing during part of the day. So. Paul for behind the scenes, daily life, me for highlighted parts of the Each day. day. But the coolest thing is that obviously this is a Ford trip and Ford at epic and you will see that throughout the next few videos the hotels that we stay at the activities that we're doing the even the lunch stop today like we literally had an epic drive up the organization that ford put into their events is second to none so i'm very very excited to get this trip underway so um i suppose i should just oh i've never driven a car <laughs> before. i'm gonna put my seatbelt on yeah Aircon immediately she on. She's connected to oh. your phone and is reminding you that emergency assistance. She sounds like she's underwater. <laughs> she does. She doesn't sound. <laughs> she doesn't sound well. <laughs> Are you shooting it? Yeah. You're getting it good. Getting it. Oh, that is that you, is cool. Do you ever forget your white balance? Yeah, I've, I've sorted it. Cool. Does it look like I've sorted it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. Just the mountains are a little bit. I think it's so, so professional. Yeah. Oh god, all the angles. <laughs> that that looks, that actually looks really cool. I was filming the other way. <laughs> oh, I actually like this car. I actually think it's pretty cool. It's got a nice sound to it as well, like 200 PS there kicking in. <laughs> Someone read the brochure. Oh yeah. I love this thing. I think like murdered out with massive wheels, it would be so cool. Yeah, I was about to suggest that. I think you stole my idea. Time. 
<laughs> Pretend like that was. I think I'd have it as my daily. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Woo. By the way, guys, when we head to the hotel, I'm going to be doing like a, a road trip equipment setup. Now that I've got a new camera, new laptop, I feel like I'm in an adequate position now to show you guys what I bring on a road trip because I feel, I feel like I've thought ahead on this trip. We are covering cold, hot, and all sorts of other different terrain. Mountains here, but the mountains in Switzerland. And I'm going to be showing you what socks I bought with me. <laughs> <laughs> so we have found a park. You want a door shut, won't you? <laughs> We are finding some cool locations to get the Ranger in its best light, in its sort of natural habitat. Sam's getting that angle with his polarizer. Trying to block out the sun. And it just looks so cool. We've got the engine running now. And yeah, this thing is so cool. Yeah, it was born here. And then in the back, it's locked. <laughs> yeah. We've got all of our stuff. We've got awesome interior here, like wild track. Here. Plenty of space in the back. And there we go. From Do you want to take a picture of me in the flatbed? Huh? Do you want to take a picture yeah. of me in the... <clears throat> Do you need me to... Oh, okay. I'm going to have to use a polarizer. Yeah. That race in line. Should we turn right or not? Should we go down there? Oh, let's I can pick up for photos. Let's, let's go down there. Speed. We are now on our third stop in, I suppose, less than less than 20 yards. We've literally just driven from there. I feel like I'm on Top Gear or something. Makes a difference, right? Well, that was successful. Enter. You passed with flying colours. <laughs> Oh my god! We've spotted a front on duck. It's Marbella, it's the Ferrari dealership. It's got a Stradale. Marbella Cars Club had a we three go back? Tr we go back? We... How do we get there? Around the roundabout, do you think? It is saying to go straight on at this front. But Come I on, can. That, that is worth going back gonna, for. Yeah, we are going to go back. Hola. Oh look, McLaren! McLaren! Oh yeah. This is my super There's a white 599 GTO over oh there. Oh my god! Where are we, are we going back to Ferrari? Well, let's do both. Then there's Audi. Okay, let's go up here. This first. is so legit. Let's go up here first. Look at that. Oh yeah. Look at that, people. Yeah, it's Tim's 12C. Tim's 12C is <laughs> in there, satin. <laughs> and then some minis. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, 675 LT. What? Yeah, at the top with some old school thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, the chicane grey. Yeah, yeah, chicane grey. Oh yeah, yeah. Matte black customs. Yeah. Okay. Look, look at this. Look at the LT at the top. Oh. It's a Zonda. There's a Zonda there. Look. Oh my God. <laughs> That's like a tricky lorry, isn't it? Yeah. How do we get in there? How do we get in there? Oh, sorry. Can we park up and go in? Come yeah. on. Yeah. We have to come. Oh, there's two. There's three. What? Hola. 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 Oh, it's got radio. Hi. Hola. Hola. Yeah. yeah. Big camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's a camera. It's got a microphone. Ah, it's a microphone. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sam is being yeah, yeah. 
Solda Spanish Challenge Rodale. I can't believe that there was one, two, three Challenge Rodales in this shot, and Sam from Seen Through Glass is in this shot. And now we cross the road to check out Zonders. <laughs> <laughs> this place is insane. I'd say the uh, Ferrari man was more accommodating than those people. <laughs> yeah, Maybe it's because they've got uh, a Zonda and all sorts up there, but yeah. Apparently it's private, so we're gonna head to the hotel now. And as if by awful magic, Sam being a pretty poor video camera man, um, we have arrived at our hotel. And some wild track Ford Rangers are here to greet us, which looks stunning in white. I think they look so cool. 3.2 six speed blacked out grill. I'm not sure whether you can get the chrome front grill, but anyway, I'll definitely have it blacked out. And then this is the hotel that we're staying in, the Marbella Club Hotel. Absolutely fantastic. So we're gonna get checked in into our room. Um, I'm gonna show you a little bit about this hotel. I've just walked in, so I don't know anything about it, but it's gonna be pretty cool because it looks fantastic. And um, then I'm gonna show you my setup for this road trip. Right guys, I have made it to the hotel room. And like I said earlier in this video, Ford are pretty good at hosting. Let me show you my hotel room. <laughs> so this is the front door here. So this is what I'm looking at right now. So I've got the bathroom in here, which um, I have not been in at all. So we've got a bath, we've got a mirror, we've got another mirror, another mirror, a shower, the toilet section, which is bigger than my bedroom at home um, and then as we move forward <laughs> we've got like some wardrobe with another mirror and then this is <laughs> where I'm going to be staying for tonight so this is the master bedroom and I suppose a living area I've got an iPad look at this TV oh my god Right, okay, so I've switched to my Canon S120, my vlogging camera, which I've done a couple of videos on already, because this is gonna be my compact camera, and this, the Lumix uh, FZ330, is my latest edition, and is the camera that I use for my vlogging. It's a bridge camera, and it is absolutely perfect for everything that I need. It does film up to 4K, but at the moment I'm doing it in 1080p, and I think I'm doing it in like 50 or 60 frames per second, so I might reduce that. I've got a epic microphone, similar to the one that I've got on my Canon S120, just much bigger, which is very, very good. And I've also got like a sort of handheld stick tripod thing, which is very similar to Sam's setup, but I think it works so well um, that I wanted to try, not replicate it, but try and get something similar so that we could have just as much fun on the Supercar The London channel. And then I've got this new bag which carries all of my equipment, suction cup, chargers, all of that sort of stuff, external hard drive. This is my new laptop. It is a Toshiba P50, if I'm correct. I now use Premiere Pro, which I'm getting gr to grips with. I'm getting used to it, so please forgive me if some of the editing isn't that good. I'm still learning. And then I come to this stupid arrangement of phones. So I've always had two phones, and at the moment I've got a 6S and a 6. Basically one runs all of the social media accounts and emails and the other one I use as a phone. If I was to just use one iPhone, the battery life would die within an hour. So that is why I have got two phones. And this bad boy here um, is the latest edition. It currently runs a three pay-as-you-go SIM card, which means that I can get unlimited data abroad. And I hotspot off that. It does nothing other than hotspot to these phones so I can connect up my phones. I don't compromise my numbers that I use on here. So I can still contact people, I can still take calls, I can still take emails and get data pretty much for free on this phone here. So that is why I have this setup. So ladies and gentlemen, that is day one, the arrival here at Malaga. 
I'm now at the Mar I can't remember, I've forgotten the hotel name, but I'm down in Marbella. That is my camera setup for this week. I've also got that long line of UK plugs, which I've been banging on about just because I'm so proud of the fact that I thought of doing that so that I can plug them all in with only one European adapter. It's gonna get crazy this week. I'm so excited that this is the first road trip of 2016. With Sam from Seen Through Glass, we're gonna be trying to create different content so that you can head over to his channel and head over to my channel to see completely different things. As tomorrow, we are going to be, let me read it out from the Ford letter. Tomorrow you'll have the opportunity to literally fly on water, epitomizing the Ford Ranger mantra to work smarter and play harder. You'll get the chance to meet flyboard inventor Frankie Zapata for a flyboarding masterclass. So that is what is gonna be happening tomorrow. I cannot wait. What I need to do now is unpack, get myself ready for dinner tonight with Ford. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and click subscribe if you haven't already. <sighs> <laughs> just, I just, I sort of have to pinch myself sometimes of what is going on, but hopefully you've been enjoying these videos and there's going to be a lot more epic adventures to come. So I will see you tomorrow. Cheers, guys.